afternoon, good whatever time you are watching this. Back to you with another vlog. Today we are in San Jacinto City. Ha <laughs> ha, wow. What? No. San Jacinto City? Really? You know how stupid you're going to to the Texas viewers? That's how we were at? No. Where are we at? We're in LaPorte, Texas. We're in LaPorte, Texas. My no, no, freaking no. bad. What's up, everybody? Today, we're at the Texas San Jacinto Monument. Yay! So, a lot of people are like, Donnie, what, what, what is that place? I've never been there before. Well, here is where the, it was the, 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 uh, the war of the Texas Re Revolutionary War happened. So if I'm right, this happened like in 1835 to 1836, if I'm right, like a year. But this is where the Texas, Texas Army and uh, the Mexican Army, you know, led by General, San uh, General Santa Ana, fought. And I'm pretty sure this is where they lost. So, so I'm going to show you right quick. Hold on, because... So Sanjay wants to go do a little Rocky moment, so let me show you that right now. So we're inside the monument. Cause I'm just pretty upset right now because she's hungry. Uh, but there's no food here, so we're gonna try to do this real quick as possible. But I'm gonna show you a little quick, something's real cool. And they have like little models here, like awesome little models of how things back in the day used to look. So let me get to that right now. Let me show y'all each and every model, hold on. Show you a little bit of, um, of the models they have out here, and um, and let me show you a little bit of, of the paintings they got. And these are the paintings they got, guys. These are all interesting. You know that little field we seen outside? Yeah, it's a pretty cool painting right here too. Look at that. So cool. So cool. So right now, we're about we're about to go up, like real high up. Yeah, we're about to go up. Yeah. And you're about to and see. She's back. And she's back. Quick. All right. All right. Come on, Daddy. So here you are, ma'am. It's the big one. It's the big one. Thank you. Oh, what's your name, ma'am? Roberta. Hi, Roberta. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Right here, came to enjoy the monument. Aren't you freezing? No, it's pretty. It's pretty hot outside. I'm freezing. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all want to look through the window there as we go up. Those of you is emergency. We're going approximately 50 floors. It takes 37 seconds, so your ears will probably pop. Oh wow! I feel it. I feel it too. Oh no, his ears might pop. He don't know what's going on. Hi. Dile hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, wow. Push the door open to enjoy. How high are we, ma'am? 489 feet. 489 feet. Thank you. You're welcome. approximately 1.2 million jobs throughout Texas, which helped generate roughly... We are here, guys. Oh, my God. My ear just popped. That's beautiful. That's 16% of the state's gross domestic product. Here. Additionally, more than $5 billion in state and local tax revenues are generated by business activities related to the board. If you take a closer look through the high-powered binoculars on this floor, you may notice many of the industrial players along the ship channel. We're pretty high, guys. Hey. Hey. Hi, God. Would you be scared if, if you would have fell from here? Hey, 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 Alex. Hey, Alex. Are you scared? Of course. Of course. He's showing them. So, Alex, so Alex basically just 
I told y'all, there's water. I want water. Okay, so let's go back now because we enjoy being up here now. Let's go. All right, guys, so we just seen the upstairs. We seen on top. Now, we're gonna show a little bit of, of things um, they had back in the day, like tools and stuff like that. So stick around. <clears throat> See this guy right here? His name is Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana. That's his glove. See that glove he has right there? You're so tall. His glove. Lord, they still have it. What else do they have? No, Alex, no. Legend has it, he ate his last meal with that knife. And that right there, I don't know what that is. His brooch? His brooch. Where's the brooch at? I don't see his brooch on there either. Oh. And that, that's a stick. Oh, his legendary stick. Oh, oh. and that's the plate he used before he died. But all right guys, we're finally out of there and I am starving. Like, you don't understand. I went to the gym this morning and I didn't eat breakfast. And now he has me out here all the way in wherever the heck we are. I don't even know. He says it's San Jacinto, then he says it's Lakeport. I don't know. Lake. I don't know what you said. Basically, now I don't know where the heck he's taking me, but I hope it's on feeding me. Are you going to feed me? Yeah. He's mad. He's mad for the fact that I didn't enjoy it because I'm hungry. But I mean, what do you want from me? Like, I revolve around food. Like, food is, is my thing. Like just doesn't get it so now he's all upset what is up guys what is up so I just got out of the shower and some crazy things happened you know I was, I don't know if I'm gonna put it in the beginning or if I'm gonna talk about it but um basically I got in a, in a car accident well technically me and Adani got in a car accident <sighs> you guys so I just got in an accident. I, I don't even know if I should be recording this, but I do want it for like, oh, back is messed up, bumper's gone. It's horrible. I'm not gonna record too much because the cops are on their way. But basically what happened, like I was saying, basically what happened is, I just, we'll wait for another time. Cause I don't think this is the time anyways. It's not appropriate. There's people looking at me. I just wanted to get this on video. So I could tell you guys, but basically my bumper's gone, the guy's bumper's gone, and then Arani has a little cracks, but his his truck is fine. And then like now my thing right there is all bent down. But I mean as far as that we're all good. Everything everybody's fine. Arani's just talking to them. My hood is lifted. It's pushed in. So yeah, um, basically how the story goes, sorry, I'm gonna brush my hair. Um, basically how the story goes is I was on my way to work and I was gonna go pump Arani some gas in his truck. So he was in front of me and I was behind him and we're going on a on a street, like it's a little, a little street, it's not even a main street. And this idiot woman, like, I understand why people say that women don't know how to drive because Oh my god, she is an idiot. She is an idiot. So basically what happened was we're driving and this is the street and then like here's like the parking lot and like she thought that she could like run it and like beat it on So whenever she did that, I guess she got scared and like she stayed halfway. So her butt was inside and like her front was on the street. So Adani couldn't swerve it because there was other cars next to him, so he couldn't do that. So he stopped and then of course I stopped and the car behind me didn't. He hit me with him hitting me, his velocity made me hit it on and so I was like, what the heck? So I ended up stopping whatever, I had no choice, you know? I'm like, literally got hit in the front and in the back. Adani thinks that it's me. I literally seen them with the rear view mirror thinking that I'm the one that hit him. And so I call him and I'm like, hey, it wasn't me, it was that guy behind me. And, um, yeah, so we're all like, what the heck? I 
honestly, if you ask Ronnie the story, he'd probably be upset. But it's just because I seen the guy and, you know, I told him, like, what the heck. You know, dumb lady, we all, like, spoke or whatever. And, yes, I know we're not supposed to talk to the people that hit us, but I did. Um, we both made sure that he was okay. He was so scared. You know, he was, he didn't have papers. He didn't have a license while he was driving. And, yes, I know that he shouldn't be driving then, but, you know, he ha he was. And so he was really scared and basically, you know, being the person that I am, I don't want to like sit here and say, oh, I'm like super nice or whatever. But being the kind hearted person that I am, you know, I like comforted him and like I told him that everything was going to be okay. And that's when he started screaming at me because I'm over here telling this random dude that it's going to be okay, that nothing's going to happen when he's the one who hit me. But, I mean, honestly, in my opinion, I'd rather get a ticket than him get a ticket just because it could probably go worse for him than it were to me. I'd get a ticket. Okay, whatever. I got a ticket. Him, on the other hand, he, I don't know. He'd probably lose his family. He'd get deported. I don't know. You know, so we're in that situation. We take forever because the cop does not want to get here like we've seen like four three four cops none of them stop you know i don't understand what's up with cops in america now but i mean it's ridiculous you see us having an accident and one of the cops actually even shook their head and turned around so we're waiting there we wait for a while and then we actually find out that nobody's gonna get any tickets that the stories match up whatever that we just have to go through the insurance so yeah, um, basically, I mean, it wasn't nothing drastic. I did get in a car accident. I'm fine. And Ani's fine. Nothing happened. But I mean, it was a little bit scary. And yeah, I mean, honestly, I just felt sorry for the dude. He like literally, the cop got here and he like literally took a deep breath. Like he spoke to the guy, you know, he, I, I could, you could see that he was scared. And you know, I told him like after the cop told him that nothing was gonna happen to him, he was relieved. I told him that everything was fine. The poor guy was going on his way to the hospital. Like he showed me his cut where he was, you know, he had pancreatic, um, he had something wrong with his pancreas, and yeah. So I mean, I don't know. Like I don't know what people would are gonna say about this video. I really don't care. Like in my position, um, the guy was hurt. You know, he was he was scared. Like, it'd probably go worse for him than it were for me. But, I mean, like I said, everybody's fine. Everything's fine. I can't drive my truck because now my bumper is broken. And the front of my truck is broken as well. So, if I were to drive it, it'd be messed up. Like, I, I would, I'd probably get in an accident even more. So, yeah, I mean, good thing Alex wasn't with us. But, yeah, that's basically it. Sorry, this video was, I don't know how long it's going to be or how short it's going to be. I have to, like, edit it right now. But thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being part of the family. Thank you to everyone that supports us. I really, really appreciate it. Please just tell your... I don't know, I think my, my camera died or something. But please tell your friends and family to like, subscribe. You know, let me know if you have any ideas because I'm running out of some. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on Cassandra Vlogs. Good night.